I also argued in that book that the English language teacher needs to create somewhat of a balance. English language teachers can't live totally within the imagination of what's going to come in the future. They also need to take the pragmatic view of the local reality, of the actual constraints of everyday teaching in the institution, and of the classrooms, students, and teachers that are part of the local reality. So let's talk about these perspectives a little bit to understand the balance. Futurists tend to see the spread of technology as natural and positive. They're real technology supporters. Pragmatists tend to see their local setting as static and determining. So they can be a little on the negative side because of the realities of everyday teaching in an institution. What we really need is just one more perspective to get the balance right. I would suggest that we also need to take into account the critical analyst's view on technology as not neutral. When English teachers take on the role of the critical analyst, they are in the position to question the assumptions that technology is inevitable, positive, and culturally neutral. As critical analysts, teachers should play a role in deciding on how and when technology is integrated into learning. Teachers need to evaluate the quality and value of various technologies for their students' learning of English. And teachers need to help students examine how technology supports cultural connections and the spread of cultural understanding and misunderstanding. This is what I would consider a good balance for developing agency. The futurist vision of things to come along with the pragmatist view of local reality and the critical analyst view of technology as non-neutral. These three perspectives together need to be constantly weighed and considered to figure out what's needed for developing the agency that teachers need to be players in making positive change happen. So this brings us to looking more specifically at your role in creating the future. As a technology using language teacher, you are joining a historical trend in the profession. Historically, the technology using language teachers have been the innovators in English language teaching. To understand the role of the innovator, we can look to the work on innovation in language teaching. Even though this work doesn't necessarily bring in technology, the ideas of innovation in language teaching are very much attuned to what we need to think about as technology using language teachers. In his book on curricular innovation in English language teaching, Marquis defines curricular innovation as a managed process of development whose principal products are teaching and or testing materials, methodological skills, and pedagogical values that are perceived as new by potential adopters. I would say that we are innovators, but how does curricular innovation actually happen? 